G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. <laughs> I am going to do some more blooms for you today. Um, blue today. <laughs> Did you see my pink ones? My sort of peachy pink ones. And my little center. I used this um, pinky colored resin gemstone, rhinestone thing. And all the color came off it. And all you could see was a little silver background. So I'm going again. And I'm not going to use those little diamantes in resin again. I have got... Just got I've got these, um, the little plastic flowers from thatfinishingtouch.com.au and they've got little holes in the center of them so I popped down a little bit of glue and uh, sprinkled them with a little bit of glitter and I'm going to pop those upside down into my mold. I'm just popping a little bit of resin down first just to hopefully stop any bubbles that might get trapped underneath. This is the Pro Marine tabletop resin so I don't know whether or not I'll be able to aim them up with with those circles but probably not. All right, let's push them down. Uh, my resin has been sitting for it's coming up to 10 minutes so I need to decant. Um, when it's 25 degrees in, in my room I pour this resin at like 16 or 17 minutes after I stop stirring. So that's that. Um, I'm going to put 30 grams in here for my white. Actually I'll make it 40. Since I've got four cavities I'll do 40. starting to feel warm already so that's for my white I'm going to put a little bit in here I thought I, because I've got a little bit of glitter in the center I thought I'd put a little bit of glitter on the outside as well and then the rest of it can just go into my mold my poinsettia mold you can still move the little flowers if they're not quite in the center. That was just the glitter I used. It's just a silvery blue glitter. I don't even know where I got it from. <laughs> I've got so many glitters and things. I'm sure you all have the same. Lots of glitters. There's bubbles popping through under those little petals there. So that's why I thought I'll get them down early. That way I can get the bubbles out if need be. Okay. Fill them up. So I've got only six minutes from decanting to when I need to pipe my petals. So I'm going to get, have to get a wriggle on, get a move on, move quickly before my resin starts to set up. When I was doing it the other day, this last one that I did, that I piped, um, it didn't spread properly because uh, the resin was already starting to you know get a bit thick by the time I got down to that one it was only it only took me two minutes to get down to that one but still two minutes makes a big difference so I'm gonna start a little bit earlier well if I can it's only so fast you can go like really if you're if you're pretty new to oh, stop flaming you if you're still pretty new to um, the whole 3d bloom effect I would suggest you just do one at a time. Okay, so I'm, I've got Sapphire and Lagoon from um, Octopus Inks. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. I wasn't sure how much it would spread. And I'm going to put a little bit of, there's a bubble, I can't um, heat it now because I've already put the alcohol on it and it would just, <laughs> okay my battery was about to die, I looked up on my screen it was just black, I thought oh quick, I have to grab my other phone, that's going to be fun editing two different phones isn't it, alright, oh gosh, now I've only got one minute. I'm going to have to, oh gosh, 
really try and get a move on here. I hate it when I have to rush so much. Okay, so that's that done. Now my white, uh, just give it a stir. Wipe everything off the stick. Hardly need any at all. That's my white. Can someone come and stir this for me, please? I still have to drop my other around the edge. I might not get to it. Oh, my time's up. My time's up. My time's up. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be able to do the um, glitter around the edge. Run out of time. This is feeling hot already. I'm just going to have to pipe. Okay, here we go. I would have liked to have put my little glitter edge around, but I still have to stir it and pipe and, you know, pour it around the outside. And this is feeling hot already, so just not going to happen today. All right, slightly smaller hole this time, hopefully. Okay. Here we go. Doesn't feel like a slightly smaller hole this time. I'm not pushing, it's just coming out. Round we go. See, rushing, I don't do my best work. I can feel the resin in my piping bags getting quite warm now. I had good plans, just didn't work. Probably need to start a little bit earlier, like turn my video a little bit a little, on a little bit earlier. Just trying to follow the shape of my mold here. I was going to try not to pipe my petals so thick this time, but I think I probably cut the um, hole a little bit bigger than what I was hoping for again because I was rushing. Okay, now I need to wind this up, push that back down. Actually, last time I had pretty much nothing left, so. Hopefully I'm not using as much this time. I've got a little bit left. My white's not even mixed in properly. I can see streaks. <gasps> oh gosh. Okay, so I need to check to make sure that my camera is charged. Didn't charge it overnight. I charged my phone instead. Okay. I'm even wanting to come out properly now, this resin starting to thicken up. All right, that's about it. Phew. Oh well, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I'll have to try again. But yeah, you don't get much time. It's a lovely resin, like it makes beautiful blooms, but yeah, you don't get a lot of time. Probably not even going to see that anyway, but I, I just like it to be neat. Now I'm just going to go through and just sort of move any blobs that have blobs there, just sort of break them up a little bit. Okay, that's pretty much all I can do at the moment. Oh, gosh. What a rush. Goodness me, I'm just cleaning off my hands here. All right, now because 
um, I, I'm a little bit behind on my timing. I am going to just use my heat gun just a little bit. Just to try and get that resin to move a little bit more because it's really thickened up now. And by using your heat gun, if your resin started to getting a little bit thick, you can use your heat gun and it can like thin it out a little bit and hopefully it'll give your resin just a little bit of time to start moving again. But really, I, I just took too long. When it comes down to it, I just took too long. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? Not much. Only do what you can do. Right. And don't go, not, not too much heat because then your resin will thin out too much um, and everything will, will kind of fall through. But we'll just leave it and see what happens now. So I'm going to clean up real quick so that I can take my gloves off. And then I'll bring you down for a close up. I'm just going to get everything cleaned up before I take my gloves off. Okay going on there okay 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 all right let's get you down let's have a little look I'm not used to using this camera <laughs> My old phone, my old phone. It's probably not as clear as my new phone. Anyway, what can you do? What can you do? I try my best. All right, so hopefully it looks as if it looks as if they're blooming. Even this last one that I've I did, because I put a little bit of heat on it. Phew! Oh my gosh. All right, it looks as if they're going to work. Didn't get to my my glitter, but next time <laughs> all right i'm gonna figure out how i'm gonna get this video onto my other video now all right i'll see you when it's time to unmold i need a coffee that was stressful you guys stressful it's supposed to be fun <sighs> it's the next day oh my gosh i am so excited to get these out because when I woke up, I thought, oh, yes, it's demolding day. And I forgot that it had that little blue plastic flower on the other side. Let me make sure that's clean before I put them down. Actually, you know what? Let's just put them on that. <laughs> then I don't have to worry about little bits of stuff getting stuck to them, hey? <laughs> so they're not – oh, they're a little bit bendy still. I'm actually going to try um, – I've got a heat mat. Um, you know, one of those heaters – heat map things that um from let's resin um and i'm gonna put next time i do a bloom try and remind me i'm gonna put it down and then put my coaster mold on top and see if it still takes 24 hours or 18 hours because it's still a little bit bendy I'm still it's okay though um so they're not totally full up to the top so if you decided you wanted to do a top coat you could or even um, when you took them out, you could still do a top coat because there's a little lip there. So you could still do a top coat if you wanted to. Uh, so that's my um, poinsettia mould. It is in my eBay store. If anybody wants one of those ones. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, my gosh. So I've got a piece of blue paper and a piece of black paper just to see what they look like as well. All righty. <gasps> gosh. All right. <laughs> Always so nervous on demolding day. <laughs> oh, excited but nervous. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. <gasps> That's so pretty. Wow. What do you think? <laughs> do you like my little plastic flower in the middle? Maybe you prefer it without. I don't know. It's just a bit different. It's nice. A little bit different. All right. I guess they'll all be the same, won't they? Let's have a look at this one. Oh, yes, same. 
Wow. I'm a bit in two minds because <laughs> I'm not used to seeing that in the middle. I'm used to seeing just like a little swirl or something. A bit in two minds about if I like it or not. I probably could have, you know, waited another minute. It's slightly heavy or, I mean, I did make the whole, I cut it a bit big next time. I'm going to try next time. Cut it a bit smaller. That way you're not getting so much out. It's not quite so heavy. Still really pretty though. All right, here we go. Next one. Love it. Oh, so pretty. You can sit there. And then last one. I touched I touched the screen, so I get this little like yellow box coming up. So if I move that way, the box follows me. And if I move that way, the box follows me. So I know it's in focus. This is really weird. Oh, dear. Okay, there we go. Oh, that one's a little bit off-center. Let me know what you think of these. All right, so now we're going to have a look and see what they look like with some... I'll put, pick this one. This is the blue background. So, oops, my little square's gone. Come back, little square. So if you're unsure about doing a background, you could unmold it and then put different colours behind it, like just different coloured papers, and then see which one you like, and then you can decide if you want to. Um, you could put the blue glitter background on if you wanted to, to match the centre there. Um, or you could just leave it plain. So that's plain, that's blue, and then that's the black. Sometimes I think I do like a background because it just makes those white pebbles, pebbles, <laughs> the white petals pop. <laughs> tongue twister white petals pop <laughs> so there you go all right now i'm going to show you all my little some of these um these are just some of the puffy hearts you know how i um i make puffy hearts with my leftover resin there's a black and silver navy and silver that was just like a burgundy i just thought i'd show them to you it's like that's a color changing purpley one. This one was clear and I just put some gold sparkle in it. And that one was black with some gold sparkle in it. This one, this one was actually the um, the blue glitter. You know, I had that little cup of blue glitter sitting over there that I didn't get to use. That was it there. It's really pretty actually. <laughs> love it so that's that one that was just another purple I think that was like a color changing one love this one this is like my favorite look at that you know when I did the um, pink and peach bloom the other day and I had a tiny bit of resin left over and I put um, Oh, maybe that no that wasn't it I didn't have it left over anyway I used the peach a couple of uh, one drop of peach with some silver sparkle it's a really pretty color um, and then that one is just clear with white sparkle and then that one that one was clear with the let's resin opal green I think it was so that's all of them. So yeah, that's um, what I've done with my leftover resin. <laughs> cool, hey. No point wasting it. You can pop it into a little puffy heart mould. And you guys have just been buying these up like crazy. <laughs> Hopefully there's still some left. <laughs> it's a lovely little mould. All right. And uh, this one as well. A faceted one that one's been really popular as well so thank you all who have supported me with buying my molds really appreciate it and um i am going to do i might do purples next time i haven't done purples for a while and i'm going to cut the hole smaller so i do thinner petals then i won't have quite so much droppage i can see a little bit of droppage here. it's still it gives a really pretty 3d effect though love piping the petals now who likes piping petals and who likes just doing the circles and then pulling the stick through let me know in the comments which way you prefer it or which way you prefer to watch me do it but anyway there we go all right it's friday i'm gonna get molds 
out today post on Tuesdays and Fridays so that's my job for today getting your molds out that you've ordered so hope you enjoy my molds hope you've enjoyed my video and uh, I'll see you again real soon for the next one all right love you all take care bye for now